Hey folks, welcome into some WNBA action on 2K Sports. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Seattle Storm going up against the Los Angeles Sparks. With Tim Swartz and Brian Benefitemi, I'm Blake Suniga, and we're courtside here in sunny Southern California. Well, as teams prepare for the postseason, injuries are always a concern, and this is the time of year where we really see the value of depth. Well, you know, teams that can go 10, 11, 12 deep, they have the luxury of spreading out their minutes, which helps prevent stars from being overworked. This is definitely the time of year to use your bench. The goal is not only to make the playoffs, but to make the playoffs healthy. You want your stars ready for a title run. Now here's Clarendon. Green by Ogumake. Leisha Clarendon attacking. Pass to Ogumake. That's good, and it's Leisha Clarendon with the assist. Beautiful dish down low. Seattle with the ball. Now Holmes. Here's the pick. And here is Lloyd. Now here's Diggins Smith. The three. And it's Skylar Diggins Smith missing again. Outside Clarendon. Out to the wing. Here's Talbot. She's covered by Ogumake. Pass to Brown. Three on the clock. And she's good on the three ball. Such a consistent, reliable option from deep. Lexi Brown, top 10 of the WNBA in three-point shooting during the 2019 campaign. Now here is Ogumake. Here's Diggins Smith. Launches a three. And the Storm miss again. Three misses to start the game. They're still trying to break the seal. Pass to Clarendon. Magnagore grabs the miss. Seattle with the ball. Still without a basket in the game. Here in the first, with just under two and a half minutes played so far. There's Jewel Lloyd with the three. The three-pointer is on target. The sick handles of Lloyd, it works well in the two-player game. It puts defenders into a tough spot. Now here's Clarendon. Pass to Talbot. Ogumake. Knocked away. Clarendon with the screen. Here's Talbot. That's in, and she found her range with that one. Now one for two. They can't afford to give her that kind of look. Well, it came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you have to fight over the top of it. And you need some help as well. Now, here is Agumake. Outside, Diggin Smith. Magdagor. And they pick up two. Well, not letting the physical defense deter her, Magdagor plays with such tenacity. Ambia screen. Outside, Clarendon. Pass to Ogumake. Brown with it. Three-pointer. Echo Ogumake with the rebound. Outside, Diggins Smith. Outside, Lloyd. Back to Diggins Smith. Outside, Lloyd. And here's Ogumake. Magmador. Here's Lloyd. Here's the three. And again, Seattle with the triple. You can't leave anyone open on Diggins Smith's team. You're asking to get hurt when you do that. Pass to Talbot. Ogumake. Over Holmes. Hits the difficult fadeaway jumper. Seattle trailing here. And here's Holmes. Lloyd. She's covered by Brown. Here's Holmes. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Knowing where everyone else is on the court. It's a skill Lloyd has. And it's a vital skill to have for guards who really want to be successful in this league. Now here's Clarendon. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. 
Now Brown. Back to Clarendon. From downtown, she's now one for two with that button. And the lead goes right back over. What a seesaw battle we've got here. Absolutely. This game's right there for the taking, but neither team can grab it. Somebody's got to take charge. Let's see how it plays out. Now here's Magbegor. And here's Neca from the arc. In the storm, another three. Zero hesitation. That's how Neca Ajumake plays. If she gets the ball, she wants to fire. Here's Ogumake. Pass to Hamby. Over Magnagor. That's tipped. But they'll get another chance. Now Clarendon. Guarded by Diggins Smith. And another shot. And it's laid in by Hamby. Tremendous work by Hamby winning the rebound. He puts it right back up to the bucket. Lloyd with it. Six points for her. Outside, Diggins Smith. Back to Lloyd. Fires for three. Bangs home the trifecta. Back to back three pointers for them. The defense is slacking off a little. You've got to respect that three, or you'll give up points in a hurry. Now, here is Agumake. Pass to Clarendon. Shoots over Diggins Smith. Clarendon, that's good. Heads up by Akumake to find her teammate. She draws so much attention, it can lead to easy buckets for others. Now here is Lloyd. Nine points in the game. Outside, Diggins Smith. Let's it fly. It's hauled in by the Sparks. You know, it's not been the best quarter for her as far as uh, scoring. We'll see if she can get back on track. Such a spark for her team. Shanae Gumake brings a ton of energy for her squad. She's been shooting it last, so her scoring has gone down a bit. But that's okay, because she's focused more on distributing and getting boards. And the storm with possession. Pass to Lloyd. Now here's Magbegor. Screen by Magbegor. Outside, Diggins Smith. From outside the arc, finally she gets one to fall. She's now one of five with her first mate. They're going back to the three-point shot over and over again. They might have found the Achilles heel of this defense. That was their ninth straight point from beyond the arc. Timeout called the Sparks. Changing it up here. To the right side. From 11 feet away. Cook can't get it to go. Seattle in the lead. It's Kayla Davis on the wing. Outside Whitcomb. Pass to Horston. 
Back to Whitcomb. And she finishes nicely on the layup. The elite shooters like Whitcomb, they hit the shots that are hard. The shots that normal players miss. And here's Clarendon. Five points in the game. Cambia screen. Now here's Clarendon. D right on her. Four on the clock. Ambi. And she takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. There's a reason Hamby shoots such a high percentage. She's intelligent in knowing how to score inside. Whitcomb misses. Now here's Alamon, covered by Lloyd. Now Alamon. Pass to Cook. She's covered by Ogumake. Second chance shot. Clarendon, no good. Such tough defense there against one of the better finishers in the game. To the inside, Davis. Banked in off the glass. Was not faced at all by the bigger defender on her. And in the low block, I thought she might be a little faced. Yeah, you wouldn't think that would be her comfort zone. But hey, she, uh, she looked pretty comfortable right there, didn't she? Now here's Alamon. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. And Davis is going to pick up the foul. That's her first foul. Team's first. First team foul. Substitution on the court. Now here's Alamon, defended by Turner. Just five to shoot. Ogumake, forced in defending. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get it off in time. Here's Turner. The three ball. And no good trying to get that one. And so the first quarter in the book. Storm out in front. Up by five. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in a moment. Second quarter just getting set to begin. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Storm? Scoring has come in threes for the most part so far. Yeah, and every time down the floor, it seems like they're hitting a triple. And it's the Storm with the ball. Outside Whitcomb. Pass to Horston. Here's Davis. Whitcomb sets a screen. From 12 feet out, Davis misses. Well, for once a routine shot, she looked a little nervous on that release, wouldn't you say? Here's Alemán. And that one's drained from the low block. Whitcomb with it. Pass to Ogumake. To the paint. It's stolen by Ogumake. Now Cook. Ogumake. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. No one in the WNBA deals with D inside like Ogumake. She figures out ways to beat even great defense. Now a timeout called by Seattle.
here in the second quarter with a little over a minute of play. Outside Whitcomb. Pass to Holmes. She tries for three. And it's Alamon with the rebound. The Sparks trailing. Here's Cook. And so she draws the foul on the shot. That trip to the line to shoot two. First personal foul, teams first. You don't want to get foul. in the habit of letting the offense get right to the rim. And that's the message they were sending with that foul, saying nothing easy inside with shoot that two. one. Yeah, but they got to play a little bit better defense before they get inside. That free throw, no good. That one drops, he ties it up. Second quarter and we're a little over a minute and a half in. Pass to Horston. And here's Turner. Ogumake, she's covered by Ogumake. Down low, here's Horston. Good for the basket, starting off one for one with that shot. A section of her game she has really worked on. Neka sees the floor well, sets others up. Now Westbrook. Here's Ogumake, she's covered by Ogumake. Fades, count it. Nice bucket, but she should just go straight up with it instead of trying to fade away. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Pass to Horston. Six to shoot. Over Ogumake. Horston, no good. That's some more rugged play from them inside. They have a decent edge in rebounds. And that hard work on the boards needs to continue. That could be what swings this game. And it's Agumake missing. Seattle with the ball. Right side, Whitcomb. Ogumake up top. Back to Whitcomb. Ogumake outside. Whitcomb. The basket good off the assist from Neko Gumake. A true sniper. Defenses should know that Whitcomb will be hunting for these looks. Pass to Cook. Alema. To the middle. Ogumake. That one is good. She has missed only one of her six shots from the floor. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. No luck needed. It is working for sure. Five of their last six field goals, and they've come from inside the paint. Ogumake. She's covered by Ogumake. Over Ogumake. <laughs> and a foul called on the shot. Got her on the way up that time, so she'll shoot two. It's on Shanae Ogumake. Such a high basketball IQ with Ogumake. Uses the fake to get to the line. That's her first trip to the line. And she knocks down the first one. Well, during her 2016 MVP season with Los Angeles, Agumake had one of the best years in WNBA history. Get this, she shot over 66% from the field. And so she hits both. Here's Alamon. Pass to Talbot. Inside. Now here's Alamon. There's the triple. A rebound by Holmes. Outside Lloyd. 
They set the screen. Sinks the triple. The defense really slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Bottom line is this. Those triples, they sure add up, don't they? They've got to make the adjustments. And the Sparks call time here. them all. Got it. Good job in the low post. Seattle in the lead. Outside Lloyd. Picked by Ogumake. Lloyd with it. Now Brown defending. And count it. The shot is good, and she'll go to the line. And that's a tough take, but Lloyd embraces the opportunity that she's up for the challenge. And she's got her first opportunity at the line here tonight. And pretty often for a guard, lights out at the strike. Now here's Brown, covered by Lloyd. To the inside. Ogumake, left side. Five to shoot, pass to Talbot. The three. Yes, and it's Shanae Ogumake picking up the assist. That was simply a defensive breakdown there. She was all alone for that shot. I, I mean, that's like a warm-up jump. Now here's Horston. Megan Smith. Now Holmes. No good. Some solid defense by Shanae Ogumake. Here's Alema. And it's blocked. Pass to Agumake. Outside Lloyd. Picked by Agumake. For three. And again, it's the storm missing. The Sparks trailing. Here's Talbot. He has five. Here's Horston. And that one good. Her assist rate has gotten better with each season in the WNBA. Lloyd's vision and passing continues to blossom. Pass to Talbot. To the middle. It's rebounded by Seattle. Those chances, usually they're two points for her. The D, I guess, did just a, enough to bother her. They get it again. Bambi with the ball. Here's Talbot, guarded by Diggins-Smith. 
now Talbot. Ogumake up top. Cranes it from beyond the arc. Another huge game from Ogumake. She's a threat every night to go for 20, 30, maybe even 40. Outside Lloyd. Ogumake sets the screen. To the paint. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Ogumake. Passed on them off. From seven, Ogumake. No good off the back of the rim. Kadi did a good job of clogging the middle once she got inside. Here's Holmes. Ogumake. Now here's Horston. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Lloyd. Over Brown. <laughs> And again, it's the storm missing. Here's Alema. Ogumake up top. That's good again. And her seventh basket is seven for ten from the floor. Shots are falling. She's having a strong quarter. Now a timeout called by Seattle. Teams making substitutions here. I got your help, Liv. Hey, hey, close now. And here's Magbagor. Pass to Holmes. Ogumake. Lloyd with it. Let's the three fly. It's good from long range. This is an absolute monster performance from her. She is just torching them from behind the arc. Now here's Clarendon. Five points in the game. Picked by Agumake. Just two to shoot. The three is up. Another three for the Sparks. How about that? Responding to the three-pointer against them with a quick one of their own. Yeah, terrific little back and forth right there, Tim. It's been a lot of fun to watch. Now here is Lloyd. He's got 18. Buries it from three-point range. Yeah, she's played an important role in her offense today. And really, without her, they might not have the lead right now. Clarendon, guarded by Diggins Smith. Clarendon, that's good. That's a heads-up play there on offense. The pump fake cleared the way for the nice layup. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Ogumake outside. Lloyd, here's Magbagor. 
That falls. Is nice speed good. that time from Jewel Lloyd. Well, we've seen her do it. We know Mad Magor can hit jumpers, but she's at her best right around the hoop. Outside Clarendon. Oh, and it's good. Caught through the contact, hit the shot, and he'll go to the line. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. So it's a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. Norm out in front, leading by just one. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow on 2K Sports. a back and forth game with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter getting started here. And you know, Jewel Lloyd has been really making it happen, guys. She had the magic touch in terms of setting up her teammates. Just a pile of assists for her. Which isn't a very common occurrence for her. You know, typically she's more of a finisher, but that's just not the case in this one. We have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half to get underway. Outside, Diggin Smith. Pass to Magbegor. Screen by Magbegor. And here is Lloyd. And again, Seattle with the triple. They're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. You're right, three of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Outside Clarendon. Oh, and a foul so on Neko Gumike. That's her first foul. First foul. Team's first. First team foul. <laughs> Outside Clarendon. Down low. 
Shot clock at six. When Brown picks his shot, she commits. Defense isn't going to scare her off with some contact. This is her first trip to the free throw line tonight. Good on that one. And the second free throw, good. Seattle leading. Right side, Lloyd. Diggins Smith. Ogumake outside. Pass to Lloyd. Over Brown. And it's Seattle scoring again. As a defense, you can't let that happen. You know, let Lloyd step into a jumper. Too deadly to allow the catch and shoot. Now here's Clarendon. He's got 13. Here's Ogumake. Score that one for her eighth field goal. Eight for 11, in fact, on an accurate night. She is setting this place on fire. Her shooting has been off the charts. Here's Lloyd. He's got 26. It's good. And that takes her to 77% shooting this game. 10 for 13. Three straight makes to start the second half. Pass to Talbot. To the paint. Ogumake. And that is no good. Now shooting 8 for 12 from the floor. Now Holmes. She's covered by Ogumake. Lloyd with it. Jacks up a 3. And again, Seattle with the triple. She is just tearing it up this quarter, and I don't think this lead is going to go anywhere while she's this hot from the field. Timeout called the Sparks. One of the stories here, Jewel Lloyd getting it done today. She's been gunning from deep. If you're guarding her, you got to get into her jersey. You can't sag off her at all, or you're just asking her to drop another three on you. and close, and she nails it. What a feed by Brown, and off guard maybe by position and by trade. Her uh, passing abilities get better each year in the league. Now here's Agumake. Six-point lead. Pass to Lloyd. Back to Agumake. Higgins-Smith. Here's 
zones. And good work on the boards, and they pick up the second chance points. She was the first one to react to that miss. I mean, that's just a hustle play on the putback. Outside Clarendon. Here's Brown. Skyler digging Smith with the steal. Oh, and the fast break for the storm. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Nothing's going down for her today. Outside Clarendon. Green by Ogumake. To the inside. Ambi down low. Brown. The three-pointer, no good. Outside Lloyd. Now digging Smith. Back to Lloyd. Takes the three. It's good. The assist that time from Skyler Diggins Smith. Can they make some sort of defensive adjustment? Because guess what? She is killing them from three-point range. And even when they have closed out on her, she's still knocking them down. I mean, this is just an unbelievable performance we're seeing right now. Now here's Diggins Smith. Pass to Magbegor. Ogumake. Screen by Magbegor. Outside Lloyd. Now here's Diggins Smith. Back to Lloyd. Just four to shoot. Off the mark there with the three. It's rare to see her come up empty on such a wide open look. Open McKay outside. Left side Clarendon. Here's Brown. The three-pointer off the mark. Seattle with the ball. Here's Lloyd. She's got 34. From deep, Skyler to Smith. Talbot pulls it in. Sparks trailing. Pass to Brown. Here's Talbot to the middle. Shot from six. Ogumake. Clarendon with it. it go from deep. The offensive rebound. Here's Hamby. It's stolen by Magbegor. And here is Diggins Smith. Outside Lloyd. Yes, and it's Skyler Diggins Smith with the assist that time. And we've got an injury on the floor. Very unfortunate, as always, guys. Don't like to see this. Well, injuries, they're just such a tough part of the game. And impossible to tell just how bad it is, but she's definitely coming out, and that may be all for her today. So both teams making some changes here. Timeout called the Sparks. Time the Sparks. One of the stories here, Jewel Lloyd getting it done today. She's just in a groove right now. I don't think they can stop her altogether, but you have to make her work harder than she has been.
Here's Talbot. She's got five. Pass to Clarendon. Ambia screen. Clock at six. Outside Clarendon. Knocks down the three ball. She found the perfect spot behind the arc there. A big gap in the D. Outside Lloyd. Picked by Agumake. From deep. Lloyd, no good. Pass to Clarendon. Now Talbot. Brown, covered by Lloyd. Outside Clarendon. And the Sparks, another three. Her scoring this quarter has been off the charts, doing all she can to bring them back. Outside Diggins Smith. Outside Lloyd. Back to Diggins Smith. Pass to Lloyd. Diggins Smith. And right away they match it with a three pointer of their own. A good look there, and she didn't waste it. Her second three of the game. Now here's Clarendon. Guarded closely. Here's Hamby. Clarendon forced in defending. Pass to Brown. Over Lloyd. A shot by Brown. No good. Well, she didn't have a hand in her face, so I thought she was for sure to get a bury that. And Diggins Smith gets it to go. Nice awareness there by Mac Magor finding her open teammate for the bucket. Now here's Clarendon, guarded by Diggins Smith. Brown with it. Over to the left wing. Now Talbot. Five points in the game. Just five on the clock. And the outside. From past the arc, hits it from three-point range. You want to talk dedication and work ethic. De'Ara Kahambi made more threes in her fourth year than her first three seasons combined, adding that deep shot to her offensive game. Time called here. The Storm decided to talk it over. A switch here. Seattle leading. Outside, Diggins Smith. Oh, Gumake outside. Back to Diggins Smith. Let's go with a three. The Sparks grab the miss. Okay, look, look, I know she isn't having the best of games from the floor, but it hasn't seemed to hurt them. Now here's Clarendon. 23 points in the game. Hook can't get it to go. Pass to Whitcomb. Diggins Smith. Let's the floater go. 
and it's good. Two points. She flipped the switch at halftime. Much more effective here in the second half. So it's the Sparks now. Yeah, it's a 10-point game. Outside Clarendon. Picked by Ogumake. Alema. Just three to shoot. Unloads. An absolute bomb from three-point range. Seattle with the ball. Outside, Diggins Smith. Picked by Ogumake. Skyler Diggins Smith missing again. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. It's the storm up seven. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. Welcome back as we get set to start the fourth. The Sparks trailing. Has to cook. Inside. Oh, Gumake misses. Didn't come away with points, but they'd be happy if every possession ended with that shot. Now here is Lloyd. She's guarded closely. Rebound by the Sparks. Here's Westbrook. Passed on them off. Five on the clock, and here's Cook. Fires from deep. Forced in with the rebound. Diggin Smith. Fourth quarter, still young, just over a minute played. Using the post moves to get the two points. A tenacious player like Diggins Smith doesn't shy away from getting scrappy down low. Passed on them off. Down low. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Well, that pick, it worked like a charm. Nice job taking it right to the tin for the layup. Outside, Diggins Smith. Pass to Lloyd. Back to Diggins Smith. Forced in the screen. On the wing, Jewel Lloyd. There's the three. Drains the three pointer. What a top notch game she's having. And really, she's got her team in front. And it sure seems like she's going to keep them there if she can continue to play like this. Westbrook covered by Lloyd. Has to cook. This one for three. And it's Seattle with the rebound. And it's the storm on the break. Here's Whitcomb. And again, Seven. Seattle with the triple. Assists like that have typified their effort today. Great ball movement. Great ball movement indeed. That's an example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Now here's Alamon. Guarded by Diggins Smith. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Diggins Smith. That is her first foul of the game. Substitution on the court. And 
We're about three minutes into the fourth quarter now. Pass to Cook. Shoots the three. Good on the triple. Yeah, you might not think of her as a true ace from three-point range, but the shot was there for her. Now here's Turner. Back to Lloyd. From the arc. And the storm. Another three. The defense has been unable to slow her down. What a game. Pass to Cook. Alema. And there's a whistle. That goes on Turner. That's her first foul. And I like the call. I thought the D was still moving. Yeah, it looked like it. And she kind of slid underneath as she got to the spot, too. Three and a half minutes in the books now for this fourth quarter. Talbot, Morston defending. Takes the three. Magnador grabs the miss. And it's the Storm with the ball. They've only given up five points here in the fourth quarter. Outside, Diggins Smith. Down to five on the shot clock. Back to Whitcomb. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic, and it's a big part of why they've been able to get good looks. Absolutely, the defense unable to react quickly enough to, to deal with their passer. Now here's Clarendon, and Horston gets the whistle that time. That is the first foul of the game. And the next foul will put them in the bonus. And you know they'll be trying to draw that next one quickly so they can start getting those easy chances at the line and get some easy buckets. Here's Talbot, guarded by Davis. Shot clock at six. Pass to Clarendon. Fires the three. Again, the miss by the Sparks. And here are the Storm now. Here's Davis, picked by Agumake. Floats one up, Davis misses. Outside Clarendon. Hamby. Here's Talbot. Pass to Clarendon. Drops in the tray. She is showing no signs of slowing down here. Whitcomb with it. Ogumake sets a screen. Outside Whitcomb. And here is Diggins Smith. From deep three-point range, the Storm rebound. Outside Whitcomb. Pass to Diggins Smith. They get the rebound. Magnador. She gets that one. Playing with enthusiasm. Ezzy Magbagor. Big second chance bucket. Outside Clarendon. Ann Davis is going to pick up the foul. That'll be her second foul of the game. And the Storm making a change here. Now into the lineup for Seattle. Horston. Jewel Lloyd. Seattle on D. Pass to Talbot. And the outside. Shot clock at five. Outside Clarendon. It's stolen by Ogumake. Up top, Diggins Smith. Clarendon covering. Double team on Jewel Lloyd. Magnador. Now here's Horston. Try 
tries the three, drills the three-pointer. Making just three. enough threes to keep the D honest. Jordan Horston. This spark squad struggling. Now Clarendon to the inside. And the basket by Hamby. Her shooting has been so good today. She may have to take it upon herself to get her team out of this hole. Pass to Magvigor. Screen by Magvigor. Horston. Lloyd. She's covered by Brown. Now here's Horston. Defense right on her. Now here's Magvigor. Outside Lloyd. Double team on Jewel Lloyd. Skyler Diggins Smith outside. The shot's good on the assist by Jewel Lloyd. Since the start of the fourth, Brian, that three-point shot has really been there for them. Yeah, doing an excellent job, Tim, of finding the open teammate on the perimeter this quarter. The three-pointer is a major weapon for them right now. And the Sparks call time here. Sparks with possession here. They trail by 18. Here's Talbot. And it's off from three-point range. Now here is Lloyd. She's covered by Hamby. Horston. That falls. Nice feed that time from Jewel Lloyd. And with that basket, you'd have to think this lead is safe. I don't know if I'd call it 100% secure but at least 98%. I'll go 99.2. Now here's Hamby. Back to Clarendon. Lexi Brown on the wing. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. Turning a missed basket into points. It's what Agumake can do as good as anyone in the WNBA. Pass to Agumake. Here's Horston. Lloyd with it. She's covered by Brown. Neko Gumake, a good look. Hamby grabs the miss. You know, that's a quality look right there. Just a little off with her release. Yeah, and that has her shaking her head. I mean, no way around it. That's a tough miss. Now here's Clarendon. Back to Brown. The tray gets the three-pointer to fall. You just can't let Brown get her feet set. Shoot comfortably off the pass. She will bury those all night. Outside Lloyd. Picked by Agumake. Puts up a three. No luck on that one. Surprising miss, wouldn't you say? I mean, she usually devours those wide open opportunities. Pass to Hamby. Here's Talbot, guarded by Diggins Smith. And the Sparks, another three. Love the selfless, intelligent play by Hamby. Puts the ball into the wide open shooter's hands. Now here is Lloyd. She's covered by Brown. Back to Diggins Smith. Oh, 
Pay outside. Horston. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Lloyd. Three pointer. Outside for Diggin Smith. And here's Horston. And so Seattle takes this one by a big margin. And they came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. They really did show some mental fortitude. They were never rattled at all by the opposing fans. And that's a wrap, everyone.